simplification using Green Mikluski technique. Green Mikluski technique. Green Mikluski method or techniques. The problem given here is the given y is equal to sigma m 4 5 12 13 9 and 2. Now, the step 1, whenever we need to solve the qn mccluskey technique, the very first step is we need to list all the mean terms in the binary form. And the step 2 will be arranging mean terms according to categories of 1. So, let us arrange first as per the categories. I will take M4 because the M4 is the mean term and this binary representation is 0, 1, 0, 0, next M5. 0 1 0 1 m 12 1 1 0 0 m 13 1 1 0 1 then m 9 1 0 0 1 m 2 finally 0 0 1 0 this has to be arranged as per the number of 1 1 and so m 2 and m 4 has only one single one 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. This is step 1. Next, M5, M9, and M12 has two ones. 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0. Next, M13 has three ones. We will take that as separate. So, this is step 1 and step 2. In the next step, we need to compare each binary number which is a term in the next higher category. And if they differ only by one position, then what we have to do? We have to put a check mark and copy the term in the next column with dash in the position that they differ. So, let us compare 2 with 5. So, 2 with 5, there are two differences in the rating. So, Whichever comparisons are possible. Now let us compare 4 with 5. The binary representation is 0, 1, 0 dash. Put a tick mark. And also you have to put a tick mark for 4 and 5 in the previous table. Next 4 and 12 will be compared. There is only one difference 0, 1, 0, 0. So this tick mark when we compare with the next table. Next, so this is what in the first table. Next we are comparing 5 along with 13. So we will get one difference dash 101 one. next 9 with 13 is giving you 1 dash 0 1 next 12 with 13 1 1 0 dash now this can be written again it can be compared 4 5 with 5 13 4 5 with 9 13 4 5 with 12 13 when we compare 4 5 12 13 we are getting dash 4, 5 with 4, 5 with 12, 13. So, there is only one difference 0 and 1. So, it is represented dash, then 1, 0, earlier dash was there. So, this is the next step. Now, we need to apply the same process which is described in the previous step for the resultant column. And we will continue the cycles until a single pass through cycle yields no further elimination of the literals. So finally, we represent the prime implicants and binary representations. Here, the prime implicants found to be 2, 9, 13, then 4, 5, 12, 13. How did we choose this? Wherever whichever literal was not ticked, so that will become essential prime implicant. So 2 was not ticked, so 2 was taken. 9, 13 did not match with anything else, so 9, 13. And in the last column, 4, 5, 12, 13 were remaining. So, for 2, it was 0, 0, 1, 0. For 9, 13, it was 1, dash, 0, 1. Then, dash, 1, 0, dash. Now, in next step, select the minimum number of prime implicants which must cover all the mean terms. Now, how to do that? You have to write the prime implicant chart. So, prime implicant chart, it contains 2, 9, 13 and 4, 5, 12, 13. So, take a column which is representing 2 here, 
make it columns 2 then 4 then 5 9 then what are the terms remaining 12 and 13 12 and 13 2 essential prime implicant then here 9 and 13 but 13 was repeated again so we can keep this without marking as essential prime implicant we keep it as and that is x now 4 in the fourth row this is the only so this can be considered as essential prime implicant then 5 there were no other takes 5 then 12 and 13 13 it is appearing in the two rows so the final expression here it will be 2 that is 0 0 1 0 or it can be written as a bar b bar c d bar plus then 1 dash 0 1 1 dash 0 1 is that 9 and 13 this can be represented as a p bar t and the final expression is dash 1 0 dash so b and p bar so this is how the Boolean expression using Boolean technique can be solved hope you are understood thank you